We continue our playoff edition of Westmoreland on the gridiron. Now joined by Ty George, the head coach of the Greensburg Salem Golden Lions, who are in the playoffs in Class 3A, going 7-3 and three in the regular season. First off, Ty, I know that's a big accomplishment, one, to get to the postseason, but two, to do it with seven wins on the campaign. So what really stands out about your team's performance so far this year? You know, it comes back to the kids and just the effort and time and work that they've put in now for, uh, you know, week after week, month after month. You know, they've consistently bought into our program in the off season. They carried it into the season itself. And then, you know, we were able to have some success early and gave us some confidence. And, uh, you know, we had some moments of, you know, resiliency and some moments where we had some adversity that we had to overcome. And, you know, I'm just so proud of their consistent effort and how they've, they've battled and, and responded to all the challenges we face. So it's a credit to our kids and the work and time and effort that they've put in. Even though you got seven wins, it still came down to the regular season finale. And then even then the committee choosing you as a wild card just based on tiebreakers and things like that. So what was your mindset? What were the, I guess, the players' mindsets heading into that final game? And then even afterwards, knowing you had won, but hadn't been guaranteed a spot. Yeah, you know, it's crazy that, you know, with the new format this year, you, you kind of leave some things up to chance. You're hoping the committee allows you to yeah, get in and play. And, you know, we kind of knew going into it, we put ourselves in a tough spot if we don't win the game. And I think the kids, you know, since that, I think they knew, you know, it was our senior night, last game at Offit. And uh, I think all those things combined together really, you know, contributed to their mentality and their approach whenever they were, you know, competing and playing. And then, you know, we got the win and we were fortunate enough to come out victorious. And then at that point, you look and you're still fourth in the conference and you're still needing help uh, from the committee to get in but you know we felt like we had done everything we could we felt like you know we put ourselves in the best position possible and finished out strong and you know just hoping things would fall in our favor and luckily enough for us they did what did you like most about the game against uh, the scotties I'll tell you what, it was, uh, it was a great football game. And it was a great football game then the end of the year. Um, you know, it was close at the half. And then we were able, uh, Peyton Chismore was able to get an interse- interception, return it for a touchdown. And we had some momentum. And then they responded with the score. And it, it was just kind of this back and forth the entire game. And, um, you know, we were tested at, at different points at different moments. And uh, for us to just still find a way to win and to come out victorious, you know, I'm, I'm proud of our kids and how they responded, even like I said, when we had some adversity. And there was, uh, you know, a lot of close moments in the game. Game. So it was it was a big win for us. So you get into the postseason as the number 12 seed, meaning you go against fifth seeded Avonworth. How did getting the 12 seed and matching up with Aven- Avonworth align with the expectation maybe you had? Uh, you know, Avonworth is obviously a very good football team. We've been watching them on film. You know, they play in a, a tough conference and, you know, they're uh, obviously a, a staple of consistency, you know, uh, in the Whippeo. And, you know, they've had a ton of success within their program. And, you know, for us, I think it's great to go against a school and a team in a different conference. Obviously, you know, a lot of our games this year have been local, which has been great. Um, but, you know, to get to play against a team and uh, of that caliber in a different conference, I think it'll be a good test for us and a good measuring stick, not just for our season this year, but, you know, for years to come. And I think uh, we'll get a, a great experience uh, regardless. They've been in the championship game recently, the last couple of years. Does that show up on film at all? Do you see a team that's kind of been there and knows what to expect in the postseason? Whereas your players, quite frankly, this is kind of new territory. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I haven't worked. They've... Uh... Like I said, they, they've been there. They've done that. Um, you know, this this for us is kind of uncharted waters. We haven't been, you know, to the playoffs in a while. So I think there'll be some newness for our guys. And again, on film, you can see that their guys have confidence in what they do, and they're they're used to making runs in the postseason like this. So it's nothing nothing new for them. But um, you know, I, I like where we're at as a program. I think we're coming into playoffs. Um, you know, having won a couple games in a row with some confidence. So I, I think it puts us in a good position to compete. How do you as a coach try to balance the excitement for your players, maybe the anxiousness and nerves while also wanting to make sure that they bring their best and they are kind of, you know, amped up for the game? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it's definitely something where you come off a big win and then you get into the playoffs. There's a lot of excitement and, um, you know, the kids should definitely celebrate that and they should definitely be proud of what they've accomplished and what they've done throughout the year. And I think, you know, we, we've kind of had the weekend to do that. And now it's back Monday here. It's back to the work week. So I think uh, now with us returning, we'll go to our routine, go to our schedule of how we go about our, our weekly prep and, and game plan and things of that nature. And I think now that we're back in our regular routine and, and we kind of know what's ahead of us, uh, we can get back to work. So it's a, it's a healthy balance of on that schedule and that routine, I think will go a long way. Lastly, Ty, I know uh, this has been a tough season because of course, Rich Bowen passed away about a month ago at this point. 
uh, it certainly seems as though that that has been in the forefront of your mind and the player's mind and the entire Golden Lions community. So uh, what does it mean to to kind of go on this run while still remembering him uh, throughout a very challenging season? Yeah, you know, it's super special, um, you know, especially with uh, where we're at in the program right now. I, I can honestly tell you that we would not be in the position we are if it wasn't for Rich Bowen. Um, and I know he's played a huge role in getting us up to this point and just co- his coaching last year and even into this year and just, you know, a stable presence he's been for not just the players, but for myself too. And, you know, I think uh, I'm just, I'm glad we've been able to hopefully all he's meant to the program and the kids and myself. Um, and, you know, it's, it, it's been just a uh, great to have him, you know, get, get to see us at this point in the program. I know he would be proud of where we're at and what we've accomplished. So I hope we can continue to do him proud going forward. You should be very proud as well. Congrats on the seven wins. Congrats on getting to the postseason. Good luck going forward. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate it. It's Ty George, the head coach of Greensburg Salem.